So what I'm going to do today is there is a rocking ab workout that we're supposed to do. We're supposed to rock as long as possible, keeping our arms straight over our heads and our legs straight out in front of us. We're supposed to rock there and not let our legs touch the ground and don't let our head touch the ground when we rock back. After that, I'm going to do the inverted rows max plus 60%, so 6 times 12 is 72, move the decimal place to 7.2, so I'm going to do 7 plus 12, which is 19 inverted rows today. I'm quite sore, so more than likely, I am going to take a rest day tomorrow to make sure that I can get the maximum inverted rows for my test day number 2 for block 2 uh, coming up in here in two days. So here we go, let's see how this goes. So end of day four, the ab rocking. I couldn't really rock back and forth, so I just sort of held it as long as I possibly could. It turned out to be 22 seconds, but probably with good form, it's probably at 20. So I do 20 as that final number for the ab exercise. And I got the 19 inverted rows in. The last one wasn't the best form, but I'm gonna let it count. Uh, since I am quite sore today and fatigued, I am gonna take that break day tomorrow to make sure that I can recuperate. I'm going to make sure I drink plenty of fluids and make sure I get some stretching and icing done. So there you go, end of day four. I will see you guys in two days for uh, day five for a retest. Have a good one.